Hi friends, it's Ho Zhenan here. I just want to let you know that this video was brought to you by Lab Exchange. Lab Exchange is an online community for learning, sharing, and collaboration. Lab Exchange creates world-class digital content delivered on a free online platform that lets you integrate your learning and research experience. Today, I'm going to show you guys purifying protein by using column chromatography methods. Column chromatography is a preventive technique used to purify compounds depending on polarity or hydrophobicity. In column chromatography, a mixture of molecules is separated based on their different cell partitioning between a mobile phase and a stationary phase. Our main goal today is purifying protein expressed in E. coli cells from a recombinant, recombinant plasmid. In order to obtain the protein, we have to lysis use lysis buffer to open the transform E. coli cell. Firstly, place the E. coli tube in the microcentrifuge for 10 minutes to separate cells from the growth medium. Remember, the tube have to place opposite to prevent damaging the machine. After 10 minutes, remove the E. coli tube from microcentrifuge and dump out the supernatan carefully. Second, choose P1000 micropipette and set it to 1000 microliter with a tape. By using the mic micropipette, transfer 1000 microliter of liquid culture into the ECI tube. Remember, press until first stop to suck, press until second stop to depend, dispense. Then eject the used tape into the biohazard waste container to prevent contamination. Place the EC1 tube with one balancing tube in microcentrifuge as previous step we did. Third, choose P200 micropipette and set it to 150 microliter with a new tips from tips box. Using the micropipette, transfer 150 microliter of illusion buffer to EC1 tube.
and as always, eject the tape to biohazard waste container. Next, vortex the EC1 tube for 10 seconds to resuspend the cell padlet. Attach a tip to the P200 micropipette to transfer 1050 microliter of lysis buffer into EC1 tube. Stop looking in my eyes. Are you cold? Do you want to sit down? I've been here a million times, so I know my way. To prevent the contamination, eject the tape into biohazard waste container. Then continue with centrifuge the EC1 tube as the step we did in step 1. Balance it. And wait for another 10 minutes. Then set a timer for 12 hours to incubate EC1 tube overnight at room temperature. Continue the purification by placing the waste collection jar under the valve and drain away the liquid in chromatography column. Centrifuge the EC1 tube for 10 minutes. Then set the P200 micropipette to 2 100 microliter with a tip. By using the micropipette, transfer 200 microliter of supernatant from EC1 tube into super tube. Then attach a new tip to P200 micropipette and transfer 200 microliter of binding buffer into super tube. And eject the tips to waste container. After that, use the P1000 micropipette to transfer super solution into chromatography with a new tips. Eject the tip. Then, open the column to drain the liquid and close it when the liquid is just above the resin bed. Furthermore, use the P1000 micropipette with new tip and transfer 1000 microliter of wash buffer solution into chromatography column. And as always, remove the used tip into waste container.
Now open the column and let the liquid drain until just above the resin bed. Last but not least, use the same micropipette P1000 but with a new tip and transfer 1000 microliter of illusion buffer solution to side of the column carefully. and repeat the step once and don't forget to change the tip then open the volume valve column valve sorry and close it when the red pot in near the bottom Now, place the open red fluorescent protein tube under the valve to collect the red protein. And we did it. But before that, we have to clean the column by using 3000 microliter of column equilibration buffer solution and drain it away. After this step, you can store the column away and 
Well done friends, thank you for watching this video. If you interesting to do this experiment on your own, you can go to the link below this video. Don't forget to like this video. Thank you.